going on, the gorgeous people of the gorgeous, gorgeous galaxy? It's Gorgina Gorge, and we back with another video. Gang, 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 gang. If you ain't gang, you lame. So stop being lame. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. You don't know what to comment? Tell me I'm gorgeous, cause duh. All right, y'all. So we is back with another baddies review. This is episode two, Flued Out. These hoes going to Barbados to start off their Caribbean tour. And we're going to get into all this very quickly because I have been having a pretty... um uh, my, my past couple of days have been all over the place, like mentally and emotionally. My day just passed and that was not really the best for me. It's like a lot going on. Uh, like I said, mostly like on a mental level. So I really wasn't in the mood to record. And even right now, it's like a couple minutes before I got to take my daughter to school. And yeah, but I have to put out the video. I got to do it. So bear with me. Let's get through this. Thankfully, not really too much of nothing important really happened in the episode. But we're going to get into whatever did happen and discuss it. So let's see. Okay, so... Ep this is episode two. It is titled Flewed Out. We start the episode off. Bianca and Sapphire were still attempting to fight each other. Um, the issue is Miss Bianca likes to spit and whatever have you. Like, that was not given. Like, and realize spit and spit and, like, purposely. <laughs> like, ugh. And Mariah even was like, no, that's not cute. That's not it. Because, like, girl, what? Like, spitting is something you do when someone really got you messed up. Like, you got to get to that point. You don't just walk into the fight spitting on people. That's disgusting. Like, yeah, I ain't like that for her. And all she really did was take Sapphire wig. So, I started off not feeling Bianca. Got to see her. I thought, okay, cool. And now I'm like, nah. I'm not really a fan. I don't like how she fights. She a little too wild with it. And it's just for no reason. And yeah, I'm here for the hoe. She wants to get for her friend type stuff, but it's a bit too much. Like, dang, what did Mariah Lynn do for you? Like, she a little too on go for this woman. It's like not cute. Even so, we got Callie Way, which also my impression of her totally changed too. I'm not a Callie Way fan. She's still very cute to me. Well, even, that's her confessional. I ain't gonna hold you. Her right here, maybe she was acting crazy. You know, you look like what you act like. So she just looked at me with a little two braids and that ugly ass outfit she had on. She was not giving. Like, I didn't understand what was wrong with her. Like, why are you so pressed? I'm going to take Natalie to buy. I, you could not just go on this show to want to beef with Natalie. Like, you want to waste your little 15 seconds of fame to make your storyline about another woman? Girl, enjoy yourself. Like, she just came off the jump. And you too, oh, I want you to retire. And this is my spot now. Like, how? Who is you? You blue face this and I still never heard of you. Like, girl. Cause like really, who is even blue face? So like, I don't understand where she get this confidence from, but it don't give. She looked the fuck a mess and she was doing too much as well. And she also was spitting like, so we got her spitting, we got Bianca spitting. Like this, they both look dirty and crazy. Like these new girls is, is not giving. They is not going to be back for another season. It don't. So, yeah, anyway, Callie Way was acting all weird and crazy, bucking out, trying to get to Natalie. And I guess she bumps into Mariah Lynn. Mind you, Mariah Lynn did a little bit too much over there. Now she was trying to fight Callie Way over a bump. And then Bianca jumping. And like I said, yeah, ride for your friend. But I just personally don't agree with jumping unless needed. Only time you should jump for your friend if your friend is getting beat up. You don't need to just necessarily jump in all your friends' fight. That's just give buddy. You just give too much. Like, Bianca is a little too much trained to go. Like, someone got to take the training wheels off of her. She's too ready. She's too ready. And I'm not here for Bianca. Like, once again, you going to make your whole storyline fight all the Mariah fights? That's not a good look. But, 
that's another story. So Cali Way now they have whatever you want to call that. You want to call that a fight? You can call that a fight. I don't know. It was very much embarrassing. Natalie falling all over the place. It's just, I don't, this is, that was a mess. This whole little opening part of the episode was just too much going on. Like I said, too much spitting. Callie Way is really tripping. Like, everybody in the house wants to fight her now. Because, you know, Natalie got her little pets too, Scotty and Jayla. And Jayla, again, I don't know, she a little too trained for Natalie. Like, I thought Scotty was the one bumping coochies with. Why is Jayla so amped up? She was a little more ready than Scotty. And mind you, Jayla's more of a fighter, but I don't know. It's just, it's just too much. It's too much fan behavior and all that going on. Like, they doing a little bit too much for me. I'm not here for it. Mm, I was not here for it at all. So, Meatball, one of the new girls as well, who came in with Callie. Like, they just came in together. I don't know if they got no relationship with each other. I don't know about all that. But Callie Way is saying, since they came in together, she's supposed to be on her side. Meepo like, what the hell does this got to do with me? I'm just here to sit down and get me a nice plate of food. Like, what is you talking about? Which is just funny because Meatball is not playing this girl no more. She said, that's why when I was going to beat you up. She going to get beat up by everybody on this season. Because, <laughs> yes, girl, you're getting everyone mad at you. Even someone that was cool with you. I guess Meatball didn't have no problem. But the way she came at her was so random and weird. Now, Meatball, like, you know what? I hope everybody whoop your ass because what's going on with you? You're weird. And, yeah, Callie Way is very much weird. I would hope she don't come back after this, but they probably let her come back so someone could beat on her, but... I just want her gone. She's really weird and irritating. Like, a baddie she is not. So, we finally get away from all of that bull crap. And we got Natalie in the room. But this is her new gang for the season. We got Natalie, Scotty, Aubrey, and Jayla. These is, like, going to be the it girls of the season. You know, every season. Well, they really kind of started this last season, honestly. Natalie having, like, a click. So, this her click this time around. And as always, you know, the click caused tension, but we'll talk about that. Because there's this one particular person who cannot get it through that big old no neck having head. That this is not meant for you. You're not supposed to be friends with these girls. Specifically, Natalie Nunn is not your friend. And you cannot get that through your big ass skull. It's crazy to me. But like I said, we'll talk about her later. So, yeah, everyone just discussing all the drama. Sapphire and Jayla kind of on the same shit, like... We're going to fight every day. Sapphire wants to beat up Bianca every time she see her. Which, she's not wrong. This girl realized spit on her. Like, Sapphire did not respect the spitting part. Like, she would get over them having a little tit for tat. But she's like, no, nah, Shawty was really doing too much. Which she was. She was doing way too much. So, Sapphire is, like, done with the idea of Miss Bianca Bonnie. Or Bianca Bella. Whatever her name is. I, I don't remember. Bianca is, like, done for her. She's not a fan. Then, Jayla... Which this is being a little too pressed for me. I feel like she's taking advantage of the fact that Biggie is Biggie. Because Jayla really wants to fight Biggie every day for what? I don't know. I get where she's she basically saying because Biggie came for her. But you already dealt with it. So why you still have beef with the girl? I, at this point, personally, I feel like Jayla is picking with Biggie. And honestly, to be honest, even going back to Jayla from her original season, Jayla kind of do got like mean girl traits like... She's very beautiful and confident, duh. We know that. But sometimes I feel like Jayla Mina pick on certain types of people for certain type of reasons. Because if you know that Jayla Mina is always cool with the prettiest, like, most wealthiest people. And she always randomly has these issues with the girls that just don't give that. But that's another story. If you peeped it, you peeped it. And I be peeping that about Jayla Mina. She kind of very much Regina George in it sometimes. Like, she's just up there, you know, and just... Think she the baddest bitch and she's everyone's below her. And it's it's kind of off-putting. I don't really like bullies. I don't like people that think they're better than people in that type of way. Like, you can be confident without putting people down. And I don't think Jayla has truly mastered that idea of her confidence. And, yeah, I don't be liking that. But you know, Jayla Mean is obsessed with trying to beat on Biggie every day. Which, like I said, for me personally, it's just weird because you know you can beat on Biggie. So just leave her alone. Biggie's not a fighter. She wrong for coming at you like that, but you already addressed it. It's no point to keep coming at this girl because Biggie's not the one. She's not a fighter. So to keep beefing with a non-fighter just makes you look like a bully. So Natalie tells them they will be Natalie tells them they will be bored in the PJ. 
And uh, the Claremont Twins will be joining them on a trip. Jayla Mina, of course, is excited. Those are her season, whatever season they were on, Sisters. And she's ready to have Jayla Mina back in the building. Oh, that's, she's Jayla Mina. Claire, Claire Mina, whatever them bitches is called. She's ready for the love reunion, whatever. Which also Jayla was possibly kind of like showing out for her friends. I don't know. Jayla was on one of this episode. We would, we're going to talk about it. We're going to be honest. Love the girl, but, you know, she was doing some things. So then they show us Biggie and Tzatziki talking, and basically Tzatziki is trying to tell Biggie to chill out, give Jayla her chain back, to not push this beef any further. Because Tzatziki know her friend. She know Biggie's not a fighter. She know that she's not going to want to have work with Jayla every day. And the best thing for Biggie to do is just squash it. But Biggie's trying to be this whole stand-up business girl this time around, not going like that. But, you know, as cool as that is, Biggie, it's, like, not realistic. You have to know yourself. You are not ready to go in the feel with this girl every day you're just not it's not you you can't fight you run from punches like you cry we'll talk about it because biggie was also being a little bit delusional and it's just like on both and her and jayla just need to let this go this beef is just pointless between the two of them and it's not equal i don't like seeing unequal beefs because we already know how this gonna go it's it's so stupid but biggie's being stubborn and yeah, Mariah and Bianca come in. Mariah's not already like, yeah, we're not doing this chain bullshit again. We had our issue last season. It was real childish. Let's do something fresh and new. We're not about to do that again. Which I respect. Cause yeah, that chain thing was really annoying. And at this point already with two episodes into a new season, I don't want to hear the word chain anymore. I really just don't. Like y'all have chained me out already. Chain, 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 chain's a fool. I'm, the chains is a fool. So, Bianca is, you know, still obsessed with Sapphire, defending her friend. And it's like Mariah Lynn checking it, but not checking it completely. Like, Mariah Lynn didn't really shut it down and be like, I'm good. You don't have to do that anymore. I'm cool with this girl. It's no problem. You're doing too much. She didn't even realize how to talk with Bianca, but she's not really saying, like, she's saying it without saying it, which is not giving Bianca the clue to just stop being a fucking weirdo. So... Anyway, we get to the PJ. All the girls look good. They're ready to board a plane. The Claremont twins show up. And when I say the Claremont twins look the fuck good, they look the fuck good. Now, if you know me, no, I'm not a fan of surgery at all. I don't mind it when it looks natural and all that. And clearly, the Claremont twin stuff does not look natural. But that's actually the ironic part that I like about it. Because they very much are purposely giving out of this world bimbo bitches. And it's just so aesthetically pleasing. They're very much still identical. They still have their same confidence and aura. They rich bitches in real life. And at the end of the day, I'm going to always respect and love the Claremont twins. Because them is some real bad bitches. Like, we're going to talk about them later too. Because there's energy in their confessionals. We're very much needed this episode. They is some real bitches. Glad to have them on. Like I said, they're a special guest, so we won't have them as much as I probably would want them to stay. But I'm excited for having them on their here and see what they bring and what they get into this time around. Because they're already carrying. I'm here for Claremont. So the show is a house, as always. The houses are lovely. They're large, beautiful. They're in Barbados. Like It's giving island teens. I love it. Very much beautiful, nice pool, spacious. Lots of rooms this summer on Natalie said. We're not doing the bunk beds and all the sharing of the beds and da-da-da-da. Now, what I didn't know, because I didn't really say it till later, there will also be two houses again, which is fair. Literally, there's too many people this time around. I would be surprised if there's a house who fit all these bitches. So, I'm not even mad at the two-house thing this time around. It makes sense. So, Scotty Aubrey, Jay Lamina, and... Sapphire, like I said, the it girls of the season. They already came to the house. And I guess the other people supposed to stay in the house with them are Tzatziki and Biggie. Not sure of anyone else, but Tzatziki and Biggie. Oh, and Mariah, I believe, showed up too. Yes, Mariah showed up, I, I think, yes. Which is crazy. They will definitely replace Mariah with Aubrey Day. But she's actually white. I've definitely been told plenty of times that Mariah Lynn is not white, but I needed to hear or see it to believe it. And I'm still kind of questionable. But I guess she's Puerto Rican, which makes sense. I mean, she's from New York. Like, how many white people from the hoods of New York? You know what I'm saying? They all Caribbean or Hispanic, for real, for real. But I don't know. It's just interesting. 
Because she really wants to look white with the with blonde hair and blue contacts. Like, I'm going to treat her like what she want to be treated as. Clearly, you want to be a white girl, which is interesting because when it's beneficial to you, you want to act black and say the N-word and, you know, live that lifestyle. But you're Hispanic at that. You want to look white. I don't know. We're not about to get into that right now. But Mariah definitely got replaced by a real white girl, Miss Aubrey O'Day. And I like Aubrey for the reason that she is very much acting like the lost little white girl. That's cute to me. She ain't trying to come in there being all ghetto and fighting the girls, being like she know what's going on. No, she's really her. Like, she's confused by this. She don't know who's beefing with who. If she's allowed to talk to people that's beefing with each other, it's very much funny and it's just cute. I'm here for Aubrey, little white ass. That's a real white girl. And I love white girls that act like white girls. I feel bad when anybody cries. That's how I For am. what? I don't know. I just hate when people I mean, I guess cry. You know, it was bound to happen. I realized. Fuck a bitch, this is baddies. You, I had said one more line, I would've ended. Bring back white girls that wanna be white girls. Like, now. Now, when Biggie get up in there, oh my God. Well, first of all, Biggie already came in there whining about something. Like, oh, I hope I get a nice room. Y'all not gonna carry me this season, da, da, da. Like, Biggie is really, 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 to be Natalie's friend and it's not it's not reciprocated and Jayla Mina very calmly carried her and was like she don't even like you pick the room and I bet you my room looks a little bit exactly like Natalie's how promise about her that. nuts she don't even like you for real it don't oh, matter she don't have to like me relax. and I promise you she's not saying that to be rude that's the truth her and Natalie who are actually cool with each other and spend an ample amount of time with each other outside of this TV show I'm sure I'll have discussions and talks about you. So, Big, if this don't be your hint to stop being pressed to be these people friend, I don't know what it's going to take for you. Now, Biggie is a Virgo like myself. And one thing about a Virgo, we will always try to find the good in people. You can smack us, kick us down, and spit on us. We will still try to find a way to justify you being a good person. Because one thing about us Virgos, our hearts are very huge and vulnerable. We care way too much. And we always give way too much to other people that most of the time do not be reciprocated back to us. So I get where Biggie is coming from, but I also in my life had to find an understanding for who is for me and who is not. And realize that sometimes I do love too much and I don't have to love everyone because everyone's not deserving. Biggie will get to that point and I hope she do. It's just a lot for her right now. Because I feel like Biggie deals with her own type of dysmorphia because, you know, she's a larger woman. But, you know, if you look at the way Biggie dressed, and Biggie's not ugly by any means. She's a pretty. She know how to dress. Like, she has this it girl personality and vibe to her. But on an aesthetic level, if we're being real, aesthetically, Biggie does not fit that it girl st st stereotype that Natalie likes to keep around her. <laughs> Clock it. It's the T. It's what's going on. Like, yeah, Rhodey is in it, but I feel like Rhodey is not even still really, like, one of them girls. Natalie just, I mean, Rhodey's still not really, like, one of the it girls, but she's in that clique just by association because Rhodey earned her spot kind of. Like, Rhodey the type who's like, I'm not going nowhere. I don't give a fuck. And another thing about Rhodey, which Rhodey was trying to tell Biggie, Rhodey's not pressed for it. Like, when she first met Natalie, she wasn't trying to deride her and all that. It just came naturally. And I feel like Rhodey and Natalie have, like, a respect on a business level. And if Rhodey's that type of Virgo, this is earned a respect. We ain't, you know, trying to... Pray. That's where I'm at in my life now. Like, who gonna fuck with me gonna fuck with me? I'm not looking for it. Because it will come. And Biggie needs to just get to that point, honestly. Really. Because this is sad. So, her and Jalen get into some type of fight, whatever you want to call it. Biggie's literally back and running away the whole time Jayla Mina is swinging at her. She does get her one good time, bust her lip. Biggie is crying. Oh, that doesn't make no sense. What the fuck? Oh, wait, no. me what I know they want us to feel sorry for Biggie, but I personally just couldn't because it's like, you brought this to yourself. You online popping off talking about you're going to smack somebody. And then in person when it's approach, you acting scary and you want to play victim. It don't work like that. It's just don't. So that's why I don't feel no sympathy for Biggie because she brought this to herself. And she didn't probably know what she was getting. She probably thought it'd be one little thing. Jedamina would deal with it and just the end of it. She also, she, Biggie thinking everybody's supposed to have her back and why? 
You is grown. You asked for this smoke. Catch the blunt, baby. You you rolled the J up. You said let's smoke. So none of the smoke being brought to you. Match her. It's time to match. Like, no, it don't give you gonna roll up and not smoke. No, baby, it's time to put fire to this smoke and blow. Thinking people supposed to have her back is crazy to me. Cause for what? Y'all is two grown women having y'all issues. Every time someone get through, do someone else step up for them? No. Everybody don't got no Bianca Bonnie in their corner. Like, you definitely don't have one, Biggie. It's a fair fight. What is someone supposed to do for you? You better go take some boxing lessons? I don't know what to tell her, because this is sad. So, Biggie crying. She real mad at Natalie. It's feel like Natalie is so weird. Once again, Natalie and Jayla are closer. You know, Natalie wasn't really even... Like, hyping up Jayla Mina or nothing like that. But she's not going to pick no side. She minding her business. And like Natalie kept saying, this woman is grown. I cannot even control her. So if she wants to fight you, she's going to do it anyway. Because she is. Like, Jayla Mina is a very headstrong person. It really don't matter what's said to her. So, Sapphire goes to talk to Biggie and calm down. Biggie's just crying. She really don't want to hear. Like, she's really embarrassed. She's hurt. She feel like no one on her side Boo hoo! I'm not really here for all this shit. I don't have no sympathy for someone like I said that started it. You no, know, you you pop off, you get pop. That's just what it is. Jayla's over there with the Claremont twins, basically talking about how she's so into skincare and they left a mark on her face. And this is when I knew the Claremont twins were just real. Which also on this season, the Claremont twins try to check Jayla like they almost got into an actual physical altercation with each other. They not no follow behind ass type of friends, and I love bitches like this. Because your friend is not always right. You're not supposed to just eat up everything that someone do because y'all fuck with each other. No. So, even though this was in a confession, in the real life, they ain't really say nothing. But that's real, too. They didn't let their friend act crazy. Because Jayla Mina was just doing too much. And sometimes, yeah, you do just got to let your friend talk. Because they be, bitches be tripping sometimes. But they're your friend. So, you ain't going to call them out. But in the confession, they was like, we didn't see nothing on her face. I get Jayla because if someone touched my face, that's it. You're dead. So I completely get it, but I don't really see anything. Yeah, I feel like she was just over exaggerating. Just a tiny bit. She was doing a little bit too much. <laughs> While well, that's going on, Natalie, like, you know what? We need another shot. Baddies, baddies, shot our clock. It's time. Well, let's get lit. It's too much drama. Yeah. Natalie's, you know, all in that mood. Biggie ain't here for it. Ain't no baddie, baddie, shot of clock. You only want to do baddie, baddie, shot of clock after someone get fucked up. You know what, Natalie? You're fucked up. I hate this. You keep treating me like this. I just want to be your friend. And you don't want to be my friend. I don't know why I've been here for three seasons. I stuck around. I put in my hard work. And I still can't be your friend. It's crazy to me, Nat. You really messed up, Nat. You weird. You weird. Like, it's too much. Like, get off of this girl nuts. You don't want you. You're not her type. Get over it. The obsession is too real. Oh, my God. Golly. I this whole episode honestly was a little bit of a dud. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not interested in this beef with Jada Mean and Biggie. I'm not interested in Biggie three seasons later still whining over the same thing. I'm not here. We get also so yeah, Bianca Bonnie shows up again. She's still trying to get in with Sapphire. Mind you, she's standing behind the security for like 30 minutes, just talking, 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 talking. Sapphire actually trying to put that work in with one arm, but she, her shoulder or whatever is dislocated, so she can't even really give her full yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's still ready to beat this whole ass for spitting on her. I'm not mad at it. So after an hour, Bianca standing behind the security, they finally get into a little bit of a fight, but of course the episode ends again while they got into their tussle. Y'all know how baddies do. Yeah, We see the preview for the next episode. We got this new girl, Gretch, who, I, like I said, I already know she's going to be controversy and rub everybody the wrong way. She say the N-word, which we know that pissed Jayla Mina off, because she don't play about that N-word. But before all that even happened, as soon as Gretch walks in the house, Meatball actually runs up on her 
And I have no idea what their issue is. I guess we will see. But Meatball came in hot on her. Like, she didn't even give this girl no preparation. And she connected. That was crazy. Can't wait to see that go down. And the rest of the new girls come. I think that's Tinkerbella and Diamond in the preview. You can see fighting because they big as hell. Them the biggest girls in there. So, it's going to be a lot going on this season. There's going to be fighting every episode, it seems. We'll see what they get to come. Like I said, you know that they don't even mention the aspect of getting to the bag anymore. Like, they already put out the window and they realize that this is not going to happen. How, are they going to even make it to a club this season? I don't know because they are just in the house going crazy right now. And it's only episode two. So, yeah, that episode was a bit of a doozy for me. The dramas right now are not that interesting. I'm ready to see the new girls. I'm ready for something fresh. I'm so tired of hearing about Biggie's BS. Like, it's so tired at this point, girl. You got to let that hurt go. You have to let that hurt go. Natty is not your friend, and that's okay. One day you will find peace with that and just be your own Big Biggie the Dominican and circle yourself around the people that actually want to fuck with you because people do like Biggie. I like Biggie, you know? She don't need them girls. Like... Friendship groups like Natalie's are very superficial and beneficial. Like, they generally probably do like each other, of course. Duh. Especially Scotty, Natalie, Natalie, and Jaylamina. I think those are real friendships, but the only reason them friendships were even created were based upon the superficial th features. Let's be honest. Let's be real. And why is Sapphire part of the group? <laughs> You know, Natalie's always getting called a colorist. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. How do you feel about this episode and this season so far? Are you team Biggie or is you team Jelamina? Do y'all think Natalie's weird for how she's dealing with Biggie? Comment it all down below. What about Bianca Bonnie and all this spitting? I know no one can't be here for that. That's disgusting. Like, that's, no. And above all else, stay gorgeous. I will see y'all next week. And yeah, bye.